Therefore the Multazam, the Hajr Aswad and all these places, they give us a story, they give us a lesson. There are great lessons in it. Especially the Hajr Aswad when the person is touching or when he is kissing the stone. And many times I have said that the ulama I have mentioned that it is a touchstone, it is a touchstone. And it is the experience of many a Haji Sahib. It is our experience. That a person cannot hide and conceal his true self after touching the Hajr Aswad. Whatever he is, it will be exposed. Either he makes proper, sincere toba there at the Hajr Aswad or at the Kaabatullah Sharif and pledges to Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala never to return to those sins. And if he has caused harm to anyone or deprived any person of his rights or if the person has embezzled funds or if the person has taken some property that doesn't belong to him in inheritance or the person is owing people monies or anything else like that, then he makes sincere toba there. That, Ya Allah, I am going to go back and make sure that each and every person, whatever is rightfully due to him, will be given his due right. And all the other sins which the person has committed, then, Ya Allah, I will never ever return to those sins again. Then as a human being, the person can still slip, he can still make a mistake, he can still fault. Human beings are bound to make mistakes. We all are human and we are bound to make mistakes. Allah wa ta'ala must protect us from mistakes. Allah wa ta'ala must safeguard us from embarrassment, humiliation and disgrace. No person must feel that I am now so pious, so righteous and I have reached such a high stage that nothing can happen in my life. That is the danger. When a person is climbing, then the danger is even greater, which I have mentioned hundred and plenty times. That the person who falls from the first rung of the ladder, he doesn't get much bruised and hurt. hurt. At the most he may get a bruise. And I always say that it will be such a bruise that he won't have to call his bruise to take him to the doctors. There is one person who sends me SMS, he'll always put the brew of so and so. So slight bruise that person will get if he falls from the first or second rung of the ladder. But if he falls from the 99th step, having reached right there, and pride came in, arrogance came, jealousy came, then that person can really, really hurt himself. He may crack his skull, break his bones, and sometime end up in the Qabristan.